Hey Virgo, welcome to Queen Air Baby Tarot. Today we are going to do your second week of September general love reading. Now keep in mind it's a general reading, which means it cannot possibly apply to every single person that is watching. But if you would like a person reading, all of the information will be left in the description box below. In case you are new to the channel, welcome. Come on in. And in case you're returning, thank you for joining me again today. And I hope that you guys are doing well. So Virgo, Summer Rise and Venus Individuals, before I jump into your reading, I do want to let you guys know I am doing a discount reading sale for tomorrow, 9-9. So September 9th, I'm doing a discount reading sale from 8 a.m. until midnight. If you would like to participate in a discount reading sale, make sure you are checking tomorrow. I will post in the um, community section here on YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok as a reminder to let you guys know that the sale has began, okay? Again, from 8 a.m. until midnight. The link will be in the description box up under any video here on TikTok. I'm mean, TikTok on Instagram, on YouTube. It's the Etsy link. Just click the Etsy link. You'll go to the shop. You'll find the link that has the white dinner line with the blue background. Click it, and then you'll have a tab, and it should say 99 reading sale, okay? So just letting you guys know about that. Now, get into your reading. When I was meditating over you guys' energy, the song that I got was Superwoman by Miss Karen White. Miss Karen White happens to be a Libra. So you can be done with a Libra, Summer Rising Venus individual. You also could be a Virgo Libra Cusper as well. Okay? And I heard immediately with this, literally, and I'm going to show you, you guys know, I'm going to go ahead and jump right into it because the cards at the back and the bottom of the deck is already telling me everything I need to know. Um, what I heard was you might just have to take off your cape. If you think about Superman, Superwoman, they always feel like they have to protect and shield and provide and, and defend and just be there whenever necessary, whenever needed. But I feel like you're always everything to everybody and you don't get that in return. That's not to say you have to leave this person or cut this person off, but you have to set some boundaries. That's that's the overall message I'm getting. Bottom of the deck, you have the three of cups. I feel like, you know, these people are that you are very close with. I know this is a love reading, but this could be family, also a love interest. Back of the deck, you have the Queen of Wands. She has on a cape. There's a, this is a hooded cape. So some of you guys are always there to fight for people, always there to defend people. But I feel like when you need them the most, and they're out celebrating, having good times, they're celebrating off of your um, assistance and help, but you just don't get that in return. So again, yeah, I know this is a love reading, but I feel like this applies to multiple people in your life as well. So we've already changed cards from the top to the bottom of the deck. We're going to go through the deck until we get your major arcana, which happens to be the hermit. We'll get the card that comes before and the card that comes after. And then we'll get clarified as for Virgo, Summer Rising and Venus Individuals. And happy birthday to my September Virgos, okay? Let me know in the comment section what you guys are doing for your birthday. You guys know, or if you don't know, I'm a Virgo rising. So I'm always interested about what my peoples are doing, okay? <clears throat> bottom of the deck, the moon. Things hidden, things unknown, things you don't have clarity about. What's interesting about this is immediately, and I never get this with this card, immediately I feel like for some of you guys, you know, okay, you know that this person is kind of being manipulative and using you or playing on your emotions and feelings because the moon rules over your emotions and feelings. Also, some of you all may have a fear of subconscious because this is subconscious thoughts, subconscious fears, things that are buried and suppressed. Some of you guys can kind of, like, it's, it's a feeling like, well, if I stop doing this for this person... Then they'll pull back. They they no longer need me or I'll no longer have a position in, or a place in their life because I'm not doing anything for them. Now, right now, you may be like, well, no, I wouldn't let anybody use me like that. But sometimes people don't even realize that they allow that. That could be the case for some of you guys out there. So let's see what we get for you guys today. Again, we're going to get the clarifier that comes before and after the hermit. And then we'll get clarifiers for Virgo, Summer Rising, and Venus individuals. And these shuffles are going in very seamlessly, so I feel like the energy is going to flow very quickly. Bottom of the deck, you have the Page of Wands. Pages are messengers. They're here to give you some type of information, some type of intel. Could be done with a fire sign, Leo, Sag, Aries. Doesn't have to be. But I'm going to say again, there could be two people because he's in between two birds. There will be two people in your life that you're always giving, giving, giving to because fire is an action element. It's all about the action with fire. So it's like you're always giving and you're quick to give. Some of you guys may have already recently turned your back on someone or you're already planning it, like knowing that it's time for you to move on and cut somebody off. So again, let's see. You want the hermit. <clears throat> Wait, did, did I pass it? Okay. The Hermit and the card that comes before and the card that comes after and then clarifiers. Let's see. Okay, there's a Hermit right there. Yeah, see? Let me tell you something. 
So right in front of you, you have the Eight of Pentacles, the actual nine to five, putting in the work. For some of you guys, you could be at work. Always looking out for people, always helping people out, keeping them out of trouble. They wouldn't do the same thing for you. And then also for some of y'all, you're working extremely hard taking care of house and home, and it's like they're just allowing you to carry the weight of everything on your shoulders by yourself. This is your energy. You could be in August, Virgo. doesn't have to be just putting it out there. Then you have your energy, okay? Someone could be born in the year of snake, you or this person that we're speaking of, or this person can be a snake. Behind that, <laughs> you have none other than the Six of Wands. What does he have on here? A cape. Then I say some of you guys, you're going to take your cape off. The Six of Wands, success, attainment, achievement, victory. But also, he's a knight. Knights do what they go off to fight to protect the kingdom. Some of you guys, like I said earlier, you're always fighting for others. But then when it's time for you, there's no reciprocity. Because if you notice how it is on the table, his back is facing you. So it's like you can possibly work yourself down into the ground, taking care of everybody else, looking out for everybody else's interests. You don't get that back. And I'm, I'm going to say again, some of you guys are definitely, definitely putting in a lot of work, like picking up overtime to pay all bills or thinking about picking up overtime, thinking about picking up another job just so that you can maintain the, a lifestyle for you and this person. I mean, somebody's overworking themselves, like seriously, for someone out there. Bottom of the deck, yeah. So this person could live a nice, plush, and comfortable life. Libra Taurus energy here with the Empress. You can be married to this person, or this could be someone that you have decided or you feel is your twin flame or soulmate, life companion, okay? Because whenever you get the Empress, the Emperor is never too far behind. Those are divine counterparts. So let's see. And then you have the Queen of Cups. I thought like you put them on a higher regard than they put you. Because the Queen, yes, she has a high status, but she doesn't have a higher status than the Empress. She doesn't. And I feel like you and this person don't necessarily see eye to eye either. Now, I also feel like at one point you were bending over backwards to, you know, accommodate something. But I feel like you're starting to realize it's time for you to take the lid off of a situation and, and see it for what it is. Because you can't see what the contents are in that cup because the lid is on there, right? You know? Some of you all also have been keeping your feelings to yourself about how this person has made you feel. I feel like for a lot of you all, you definitely know that this person is... It's like something with emotional deception or I also get this person could be emotionally draining. This person could be using you for finances or you could you could have assumed it a while ago, but you again with that Queen of Cups holding it in, you didn't want to address it or you didn't want to look into it further because again she can't look and see what's in the cup with the lid on it, right? So that could be the case also. Bottom of the deck, you have the five of cups in reverse. Sadness, sorrow, grief, depression, in reverse. Again, I feel like somebody doesn't want to address it because they kind of feel like whatever they find out is going to be hurtful. And you're like, nope, don't even want to hurt my feelings. Again, this is no shady. This is not me being shady. I feel like somebody can kind of sense that someone's intentions are not pure. So it's not being addressed. But I feel like for quite a few of you all out there, you're like, I feel like I'm doing everything by myself. This person doesn't want to help. I feel like I'm being used. Hmm. Let's get a clarify for this Eight of Pentacles. Universal energies of light, love, and divine protection. You need to clarify, okay? Hmm. Seven of Cups, and then right up under it, you have the lovers in reverse. So it's like you may have questioned for a while, like, does this person genuinely love me, or is it because of what I can do for them, what I can provide, because there's something in every single cup. There's something about this person that is shady. You see that red caution around this person? There's a cloak over them, which means you don't know what this person is truly about. And I do feel like this person is emotionally manipulative. Cups is your emotions and feelings. And then have the lovers flip up in reverse. I, you know, I feel like this person is, there could be some motive with this person. Gemini energy here. Bottom of the deck, you got the tower. Okay, something's going to be exposed. Aries also, Scorpio energy. Something's going to be exposed. To get this, after we got this, something's going to be exposed. It's going to be exposed this year. You got a dragon right here. We're in the year of the dragon. And you got a snake again. Snake. Snake. Something. It, it looks like the snake is getting ready to climb up under and unearth whoever this person is up under here. You may find out who this person truly is. Hmm. Let's get a clarifier for the six of wands. Universal energies of light, love, and divine protection. You need a clarifier for this. Oh, uh oh. At the top. Okay. For some of you guys, this person could, you know, it could be something involving money. 
Or you also could be releasing this person because Four of Pentacles is holding on for dear life and reverse is releasing. And look what's peeking from behind it, the tower. Something's going to be exposed, y'all. Something's going to be exposed. And I feel like it could be hurtful. I know this is a bullshit reading, but you guys see I'm not pulling any cards. They're literally like just flipping up on their own. So I feel like whatever you find out, it could be quite hurtful. Yeah, you're going to find something out. That's you. Seeking out, seeking wisdom, seeking clarity. It came right behind this. You're going to find something out, okay? You're going to discover the truth. <clears throat> and it's upright. But here's the thing, I, what I like about this is that you're always going to land on your feet. No matter what you find out, this is not reverse. When your major account is in reverse, it's like you're not in your power. You're not in your authority. You've given your po power over to somebody else. The rug has been snatched from up on your feet. That's why you're upside down. You guys came up right. Up under that, you have the her um, the hair font, Taurus Energy. Something, you got people coming in to give you some information also. People who know something about this situation. Um, and then, yeah, <laughs> you had the Four of Pentacles earlier, right? In reverse. This was in reverse. Um, so you have the four to the five. The five of pentacles lack loss abandonment being left off cold and reverse is the opposite. I feel like for a lot of you all, you know this person is either out of work or they don't have enough money to live on their own. And so you don't want to just put this person out on the cold. You want to help them out. But this person was projecting like they loved you, they care about you. And you may have sensed that this person was possibly using you. I also feel like this person is an ego stroker. Like, they like to stroke your ego. Like, oh, you're so powerful. Oh, you're so strong. Oh, you're, you know, I love the way that you provide for us and blah, 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 blah. You know, because these people are celebrating him. But deep down inside, you may have known, like, this person is just talking shit. Because swords communication mental. It's just talk. Sort of is just, sort of is no. The swords are down. So it's like this person is just saying things. I feel like there is deception. I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it there. I feel like there's some deception. Now, do I feel like this person never cared about you? It's not that I don't get that. I feel like they did, but if you just look at these cards, you have the eight of pentacles, seven of cups, six of wands, three of swords. Nothing here says romance. This is all like obligation. You know, some of you all feel obligated to provide for someone. It could be that you have children with this person and you don't want to see this person on the cold. Or it could be one of those things where, like, it's cheaper to keep her or cheaper to keep him or cheaper to keep the family together. You know, it could be one of those scenarios. This person may have promised to get on their feet and find a job. They may even come back and tell you, like, oh, I found a job and I'll start on this day or that day. You know, this person may have also started a job in Leo season or got a new job in Leo season. But I, again, I'm going to say, I feel like you're going to discover with this, you're going to discover something. You're going to realize that this person has some type of ultimatum or not ultimatum, but somebody ulterior motive. They Somebody had an ulterior motive and I don't feel like it's you. I feel like it's them. I feel like your heart was pure in this situation. And it's like finding something out that this person was about. Maybe heartbreaking. Somebody has a three-year-old or three children with someone. I'm just looking at these threes here. You got the three of swords, and then of the seven of cups, you got three up here. And I never get that as children, but this also could be the reason why someone is staying in the situation as well. If there's no children involved, of course, you won't take that part. Leave it, you know, where it is. But some of you guys are going to find something out. I, I feel like you're going to find out before uh, Virgo season wraps up for sure. I know it sounds whack, right, <laughs> for um, your birthday season, for this to be a reading, but here's the thing. I, again, I feel like Spirit wants you to know this so that you can move in victory, so that you don't have somebody leeching off of you. That's no way to bring in your your new solar return either, right? So yeah, that's what I have for you guys today, Virgo. So Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus individuals. As always, I'm going to ask that you continue to like, share, subscribe, click that notification button, and do not forget tomorrow we have an a 9, 9, September 9th discount reading sale from 8 a.m. until midnight. Until next time, take care and be well. Bye.